Miami University, Oxford, Ohio. Do you think that, that college and school has changed after COVID? Um, I think it has significantly. Um, there's a lot more options when like you're sick. Like pretty much every professor has a lot set up so that if you're ever not in class, you're kind of never falling behind, which is really nice because I felt like if I ever missed like a day, I was significantly further behind than I was like before COVID. But now it feels like you're never really that far behind if you have to miss for family or, or you're sick or whatever. Um, I think for school in general, um, it's become more virtual and so homework is more online rather than on paper. Are you more closer to your friends now, post-COVID, than before? Uh, during the pandemic, I, w I would say I'm closer to my friends now than during the pandemic, just because of, like, I feel like there's some level of, like, in-person interaction that you can't replace um, just by, like, on Zoom or, like, just in calls. So I think that I am closer to them now because I'm actually able to, you know, spend time with them in person, actually go out and do things. I think I would say yes. Um, I think because we have to resort to things like FaceTime during COVID, now we we took for granted our time with our friends, so now we spend more time when we can. Miami University, Oxford, Ohio. Now, do you feel that, uh, do you think that people are more applied to each other now post-COVID? Do you think people are more applied to each other? Um, honestly, I can't tell a difference, um, at least in college, because again, I'm a freshman, but I would say so I would say it's probably neutral. All right, well you want to let folks know the importance now, now we're, when COVID's still around, but of course we're out of the pandemic phase, the importance of, of your friends and all that stuff. Um, obviously, I mean, we saw a lot of people struggling with like depression and anxiety significantly more during the pandemic phase. Um, and I think a lot of that stemmed from the inability for people to have like a reliable support system. I think we make connections in person. And so I think having those connections in person is um, really important for people's like mental health and their overall um, well-being in life. Um, I would say, like I said earlier, just cherish time that you can um, with your friends and family that you have in person because as we all keep going into quarantine or now that it's dying down, um, we really just have to cherish the time we, we have face to face. Real Life Action TV! This wasn't by the side. It wasn't what you planned each time.